In the battle for Ukraine, Russian forces are meeting fierce resistance as they try to advance in the south and east. Their objective to capture the industrial Donbass region. A senior U.S. defense official says the Russian offensive is moving much slower than expected. The mayor of the bombed out southern port city of Mariupol describes the situation there as, quote, dire, with many civilians who sought refuge in a steel mill barely hanging on. Chris Livesay has the latest this morning from Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. Chris, good morning. Good morning. Ukraine had announced that an evacuation was planned to begin yesterday, but there's still no word on the outcome. It all depends on Russian forces cooperating, the same Russian forces who have repeatedly broken ceasefires. Relentless bombardment from without and relentless survival from within. After two months of hellish resistance, these border guards sing the Ukrainian national anthem barricaded inside the Mariupol steel mill that refuses to topple. Propped up by the love of their wives, now refugees in Rome, like Yulia, who has no hope in Russian promises for a safe evacuation. They're very bad people, they lied and um, no trust to Russia. In Ukraine's northeast, civilians flee the town of Ruskolasova with whatever and whoever they can carry away from the advancing Russian army. They were small, 20-year-old boys. Soviet helmets and clothes were hanging on them, says Irina. They had nothing to eat, taking all they could to fill their pockets. Until Ukrainian forces came to the rescue, says Svetlana. I saw them on my street and I actually, from the video, and I actually cried, <laughs> but it was a grateful cry because I was really glad to see them. Now fleeing to the city of Kharkiv, their refuge is itself a cauldron of war. Ukraine's second largest city is just a few miles from the Russian border and Russian shelling. Cut off from water and electricity, many have no choice but to cook their meals outside their bombed out homes. And as the front line encroaches, Kharkiv becomes ever more a safe haven in name only. Meanwhile, the U.S. and its allies are ramping up shipments of heavy artillery that will be crucial to Ukraine in this next decisive phase in the east, in a war that could last for months or years. For CBS Saturday Morning, Chris Livesay, Kyiv.